Hey, welcome. I have a little practice today that I want to share with you um, that I like to call a self-acceptance or a self-compassion practice. Um, you can try it with me right now. It's kind of, it's not something that you need to like warm up for or anything. In the Subtle Yoga Resilience Society this month, we've been talking a lot about using the mind to help build resilience. So yoga is not just a practice of the body, although sometimes it gets translated like that in the West. It's actually, it actually has the components of the body, using the body, using the mind, cognitive practices, using the breath, the pranayama practices, uh, ethical engagement. All of these practices are actually part, and then meditation, of course, they all are part of the package. Um, and together we have this mind, body, spirit, whole person sort of um, way to develop greater resilience in the nervous system, to be happier, to be healthier. You can use yoga for so many different things. And one of the most important things I think is um, being able to shift the patterns of the mind that in many cases cause uh, great suffering for us, right? So, and that's traditionally what the yogis were talking about. Um, now, my husband is a psychotherapist, and he often talks about how it's super hard for people to make changes in their life unless and until they're able to get to some place of acceptance, of self-acceptance. Now, self-acceptance doesn't mean, um, now I'm done, you know, I accepted myself, now I'm, I'm fine, I'm perfect exactly the way I am. Well, yeah, on a, on a sort of spiritual ethereal level you're perfect the way you are but just ask the people you live with there's some things you can do to change and you know it yourself you know we all have our patterns what are called vasanas or samskaras we all have these deep patterns that come from childhood come from our genetics maybe if you believe in past lives they come from our past lives they we all have patterns we all have patterns that um could be improved upon but if we just go there, if we just go to like, oh, I'm such a crappy person, um, we'll never change. We have to start with like, okay, I accept who I am. And from that place, I can love myself enough to put the energy and the effort it, in, it needs to be put in to make some changes. So this is just a little, one of these little practices. I actually call it like a self-acceptance mudra. And I teach it all the time. Um, so if you've watched classes with me before, you've probably seen this. So you can, you don't even need a mat for this, but if you want to come to a mat, you can. You can do the seated, you can do it standing. Um, and we're going to start with the hands over the third chakra, right on top of the navel. By the way, that's the Navi chakra. The third chakra moves up into the solar plexus, but the root of it is the navel. So you're going to put your hands to the navel. And just take a moment and take a breath into your hands and feel the healing, kind feelings of your hands going into your body. The way you would put your hands on a small child that you love or an animal that you love. Put your hands on your body that way. If that feels too icky and uncomfortable for you, hands a little off the belly could feel better. If it feels too icky and uncomfortable to put your hands on your body like that, because for some people it is, imagine that you're touching somebody that you love or a pet that you love. And then when you're ready, take a breath in, let the arms come out to the side, lift the eyes, and you're kind of looking up to your higher power for strength. And when you exhale, bring your hands back to your belly. You can switch which hand touches your belly. And you could bring, again, in a sense of kindness and compassion. If you don't like it for yourself, Think about it for somebody else. It kind of tricks the brain. Inhale again. Exhale, hands to the belly. Now, another thing you could add to this if you wanted to is reach up on your toes. Maybe just a little more there. And then bring that back to the belly. That would be something you could add, okay? So, belly is a good place, but this also works really well from the heart, and it might feel a little different for you. It might feel a little different experience. See, you know, you can play with which one you like better. So hands on the heart center, which is, you know, approximately in the center of the chest. For some folks, if you have bigger breasts, you might have the hands up towards the collarbone. It's perfectly fine. And as you inhale, let the hands come out to the side again. Lift the eyes like you're reaching up into your higher power, accepting their unconditional love and support and bringing it into your heart. Lower your chin. You can do that again. So on your next inhale, Open up, accept that support, accept that kindness, accept that unconditional.
unconditional love, bringing it to your heart. You want to add a little something to it? You can lift your heels. And bring it into your heart again. Let's do one more. This time, stay here with the arms open, the eyes lifted. Maybe the heels lifted, but they don't have to be. And just take a few breaths. Like you're kind of charging your battery of kindness, of self-acceptance and self-kindness and self-compassion. Charge it up. Fill it up with your breath. Let the breath be the vehicle for your higher power to enter you, to enter your body, to embody that energy. And then on your next exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. Lower your chin a little bit. Soften or close your eyes. And this is a good place to feel that energy filling you up. Build up your whole, the whole of your chest, the whole of your torso. And of course, you could do that last bit with the hands on the belly too. That would be fine. Okay, and as we finish up here, let's take two or three more breaths. And these breaths will be um, an opportunity to just go into that feeling of acceptance. I accept who I am. Accept all the crazy things and my idiosyncratic behaviors <laughs> and the things that I think about myself and my body the way it is. I accept all of that. And from that place, I can move forward with a sense of courage and strength and resilience and like there's anything, anything is possible. Anything is possible with these practices. That's one thing I'd like to leave you with. Anything is but. Yoga makes anything possible uh, in a in a really interesting way. It doesn't mean like you get what you want, you know, <laughs> but it does make it makes anything possible. It makes changes possible. It's always possible. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being here today. I'll be back next week with a, another um, live stream, and you are uh, welcome to leave a, a comment here. Um, and also. If you're interested in more practices, please check out the Subtle Yoga uh, Resilience Society because um, do, I do live streams every week. Bye. Have a good week.